Good afternoon, everyone. It is time for another unboxing video with myself, the idiot with a microphone. Today's microphone is my Apple iPhone headset, the one with the headphone jack attached to it. And the reason why I am using my Android phone to record this video is because my new iPhone 12 Pro has arrived and we're going to unbox it. Here is my current iPhone, the XR, that I got earlier this year to replace my X. The X had a, overnight it had a swollen battery problem and uh, that was bad, of course. So I needed a new phone on a, on a pretty accelerated schedule. So back in July, actually back in June, I, uh, I ordered up an XR because I could, you know, my, my upgrade status had been uh, my ex is well paid for everything was fine but now we've got my 12 pro and i'm killing myself really i'm kicking myself and killing myself because three days ago i learned of the existence of the iphone 12 mini which is actually the phone i want <laughs> it is a smaller form factor it uh it has stats and abilities similar to the SE, but in a decidedly 12 package. And this phone was not even announced uh, a few months ago when I put in my pre-order for the 12 Pro. So the 12 Mini, I kind of, I'm kind of upset as to why it wasn't offered or even allowed to us. All right, this is. The, ooh, that is some sexy packaging right there. Uh, I love these shippers that Apple uses to, uh, technically this is T-Mobile that sent this shipper, but I love them. They're, so, they're, they're solid, they're usable for a lot of things. And here, they got this foam in there. We'll keep that for setting this back. Gosh, look at this thing, right? Now, to, to contrast, th this is a brand new iPhone, right? So my last phone, I believe I have the box for it. Hold on a second. Rarely remove the headset so that I can move around the office. So this is the box for Lindsay's SE. And I ordered this SE uh, a couple months ago to replace her SE from a few years back, right? And this is uh, your typical Apple box. It's got all the various stuff inside. Right, and it unfolds in a marvel of uh, origami goodness. And so in fact, here's yet another if I ever throw this box away, I want to make sure I take all these headphones and lightning cables out of it. But we're going to set this to the side because this is the old or semi-old stuff. And we're here today to talk about the 12 Pro. The 12 Pro is a phone I've been waiting for for a while. I, I didn't want the 11 because I knew that the 12 was coming. And I didn't want the SR or the XR Max, because I knew I would be upgrading. And it took a while, right? I was very happy with my X. It was a good phone. It lasted me a long time, possibly longer than it should have, because, you know, that battery failing was bad, but, and I, oh, geez, look at this. I love packaging, right? I love solutions for shipping things, and that's a cutout right there for... This wonderful, wonderful phone. Look at that. It's got... Uh, so look at the form factor on this. We're back to the 4 and 5 blocky metal antenna. And I think that the, the slim... All right. Do the size comparison here. It is uh, just a tad smaller lengthwise than the 
XR that I've got. It's newer, right? I mean, this is a new phone here, technically, but it's roughly the same thickness, just a hair bigger. But this thing, it's hard to describe the feel of these phones in your hands. I have felt this phone was going to break since the moment I got it. Oh, no, that's, uh, turn that off there. Someone's trying to sell me insurance. Go figure. This phone does not feel like it's going to break. It feels like I could mount this phone on an axe handle and do some serious damage. I have some cases coming. Don't fear. Uh, shiny. I actually have forgotten if I upgraded my storage or not. I think I did. There's no reason to believe I didn't. Main screen turn on. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. It's turned on. I'm gonna wait a moment for that to activate. SoundCloud. They've even adjusted how this is presented to me, right? This used to come with uh, you know a little little twisty little twisty wire bits, but now it's all paper. And it's well folded paper to get it all squared away in there. It's interesting. I think hey, the box is small now because it doesn't come with a charger. You don't need a charger. Oh, look at that. Here is a happy Apple sticker that I could put on something. Not this phone, of course. There is a SIM card puller. I have my other SIM card puller out, but I will use this one to swap SIM cards. It's a step that I almost failed when returning my last phone. I almost sent it back my X with the active SIM card in it. And that would have been a horrific mistake because you can't get that shit back. So we're going to set... I know I'm working in really close here. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll put this up a tad. It gives us a little more room to work with. All right, my hands are still the same size, so so you'll have to bear with me. Hello, indeed. Oh, hello. Well, I would like very much to set up my new no phone. Oh, hold on, let me get out of all these apps. Am I in any apps? I am not in any apps. All right, so we backed up this morning. We should be fine. This is the feature of the iPhone that I absolutely loved. Hey, look at that. Uruguay beat Colombia. It's not what I wanted. What we want is to bring this close and have it work, yes. Unlock to continue. You just saw my face. Continue. Position this. Oh, position this image in the frame of the camera or the other iPhone. Gonna throw this over here. For now, I'm going to pick this up so you don't see my passcode. It's like magic. So, why do I need a new iPhone? I need a new iPhone because I want a phone to last me for the next couple of years, right? The Android phone that I'm on right now, I bought out right... Uh, the minute after I bought it, of course, I bought a Galaxy Note 8. I saw the Galaxy Note 9 for approximately the same price, but it did not have a microphone jack. And a headphone jack, rather. I will set that up later. What I want to do is get through set up as fast as possible. Oh yeah, I absolutely want to transfer the entirety of that phone. I just want to take whatever in here and put it in here because it's magic. It's just magic. 
uh, while that goes on, I, I needed a headphone jack for a variety of reasons. A, uh, to test games and make sure that we had... Yeah, I'm going to agree to all this shit. My job tested games when we made games for mobile. So having an Android phone and an iOS phone was almost a necessity. Plus, I use this uh, Android phone that I'm talking on right now for my publishing business. So it is technically the phone that I run my publishing business off. I take a few meetings on it here and there. I, I use its phone number on resumes. By the way, you can hire me to write for your game. I am available. I'll set that up later. I do want to use my watch with that phone. I'll set that up later. Yeah, we'll do that. Our printing transfer. But having an iPhone that I know I can depend on for a bunch of years, it's going to take all the software upgrades that is going to be a solid player in my life for some time. And they're talking about the iPhone 13 already, right? This thing is days old, days old. And they're talking about the iPhone 13. I'm not going to buy an iPhone 13. I'm going to wait. I'll wait for the 15 at least because I kept that X for four or five years, right? It was a really good phone. And so the only reason I got rid of it is because the battery swelled and it, it made uh, using the phone problematic. But I'm not going to make you watch the entirety of the, the setup here. I'm just going to talk for a while about why I needed a new phone. And that was it. I'm going to need... The odds are high I will work again in the games industry. Uh, the iPhone is my primary phone. I like the shape of it. I like the format factor of it. And I am slowly, slowly moving to a Mac household. I have two Macs in the room that I'm in right now. There's a Mac downstairs. I bought another Mac this morning, believe it or not, uh, because it was the easiest way to transfer software onto this Mac Mini over yonder, which I am currently in the process of upgrading to be a full media center. Of course, there's my basic file server over there, and then it's my Plex server over there, very expandable. It's why most of my videos of late have been technology-based, because I am in the process of upgrading all my technology, getting better used to it, making sure that I am as future-proof as possible, because when I'm more technically savvy, I'm more employable, and I kind of want to be employable at the moment. So, uh, with the new iPhone, I will play many more video games. But there are some things about the XR that I didn't like, and one of which is the screen size. And so you can see here, the screen size on a 12 Pro is a little, it's thinner. Which means I think it's got a better aspect for how things work. It is shorter by a fraction of an inch and uh, we'll use my favorite tool of course to measure them I know that phones are measured diagonally right don't uh, give you a bunch of shit but that is like 5.9 or so and this is 6.1 it's fractionally smaller which means it's smaller than this Android phone that I'm on which is okay because it fits better in my pocket and that's good the Cameras, everyone talks about these cameras. I don't need this many freaking cameras, right? It's insane. But the videos I'm going to be able to take with this thing are amazing. In fact, my next unboxing video I will take with this uh, 12 Pro. And it will most likely be for cases for the 12 Pro. The SIM card has moved here. That's significant because it means that the antenna architecture in Chai has changed. So the SIM card for this one was on the right side. So it means our antenna focuses on this side where these buttons are. This will use Face ID again. There's no fingerprint sensor. There's no a lot of sensors, but it's gonna be a really nice dependable phone. I already like it better, just holding it in my hand. And that's, I think, gonna be the last phone I buy for a while until I, you know, upgrade. This is a very strong chance that uh, when the time comes, I will upgrade this current Android phone to a uh, G20 or even the phone that comes after that. I don't need to, but it's probably just going to happen. Uh, I am sending this phone back today. Don't make me an offer. It's not for sale. 
uh, this Android phone, make me an offer, right? If you uh, need a Galaxy 8, I'll try to work it out. There's a Galaxy 5 sitting around here in a box that I have just not managed to send back yet or, or send away. Uh, I'm probably going to donate it. I'll less likely donate this Android phone as well. The Android system works a lot better for a lot of people. It doesn't work for us as much we need to, um, mainly because my partner is a, an iTunes fanatic. I also am an iTunes fanatic, and having Apple products works a little better. Plus, as I mentioned, there's going to be a Mac in every room of this house at some point. There's two Macs in here. Uh, there's a Mac downstairs in our living room. I'm not sure where the other one will live. I, uh, hold on a second. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to mute my volume here real fast. All right, I hope you can hear me again, or, you know, that anything at all happened when I pushed that button. We'll find out in a minute. That's about a minute to go. Maybe I will get all the way through this. My, my sonorous tones have taken us to the end of data transfer. I find Macs a little bit more dependable. They are less user-friendly, but I have probably purchased the last PC I'm ever going to purchase, and it's the one that I've got all my gaming running off right now. I will simply upgrade bits and bobs. This is already the third build that I've had. In fact, I can show you instead of just talking about it. There's the Cooler Master Airflow. I've got all sorts of shiny fans in there. I, I did videos last year when I was hooking up all the fans and trying to get stuff going on. For those who don't know, I got an Xbox Series X. It's over there. It's currently feeding that monitor through USB uh, HDMI 2.0. Here's the old Xbox One, which is currently feeding that monitor, or at least would be. I did streaming on that last night because uh, the new Xbox Series X does not work with the streaming tools that the previous one did. Uh, it's a bit of a it's tricky for me because I really wanted to start playing this new Xbox and exploring the games that are available to it. None of which matters that much to this phone other than that there is an Xbox app for the phones. And uh, iOS is lagging behind a little bit, but the Android phone that we're recording this on has the Xbox app and it works natively with Microsoft. So it's another reason to keep Android phones in mind is that they are a little... A little better able, a little more suited for cooperative apps and gameplay. Well, that's a, that's a video for another time. I am Scott James Magner again. I am the idiot with a microphone. And I think this video is about done. I'm going to sign off. So thank you for watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe to this video here, I hit that subscribe button and you know hit the notifications bell so that when I post new videos, you can get all the information you need to. And I'm gonna get a little better about how I present videos and edit them. So look for improvements on that score. But until then, this is Scott Jason Wagner, idiot with a microphone. So I, oh wait, I can do that. I can do this, can't I? There's a thing I could do, I could switch this. I thought I could switch it. I am still, uh... oh, I just figured out how to pause a, pause a video. That's going to come in really handy. But now I'm going to sign off. Scott Chase Magner, idiot with a microphone, signing off. I'll see you all in a bit.